Welcome everybody. Um, my thought today to start us off, I was very much thinking about, um, I suppose it's kind of in the world, but also what I'm sensing and picking up um, is opposing forces. I think there's, uh, although, you know, there's always that going on all the time, but it feels like that's going on in the world. And that's, that's, that's um, something that we have to deal with, um, conflict and opposing forces. And that's the way of the world, you know, the expansion and the contraction. And we really get to experience that in our yoga practice. So I bring our attention to that. And talking about attention, you know, where we place our attention is where everything follows where we spend our attention on love, creativity, unity, then that's what will follow. It's kind of natural. And I've got a quote for us as well around um, conflict um, and sometimes our reactions to kind of difficult situations. Uh, and it's just a very simple quote by, by Gandhi. And I just, it's always going to be interesting. An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. So brilliant, so um, kind of true, you know, you can't argue with that. So we'll begin. Standing. So I hope you're not lying down already. Let's come to standing. Oh, and let's just ring the bell. I don't like to forget that. It feels like that's marking the stop. So we stand. We feel our feet on the ground. Let's just have a little bit of a Kind of warm up the legs, bring the heel to the backside. Let's get the legs ready because they might be a little bit tired, maybe even sitting. And it always feels like, oh, I don't want to stand up. I want to lie down. Well, let's get the legs more lively, then we feel a bit more able to stand. And then we bring the sides of the feet together, the legs together, and we make our little energy battery. Breathing in, lift the arms up, lift the heels off the ground, interlink the fingers, stretch the arms up, squeeze the head, squeeze the legs together, hold the breath in. Hold for another second, and then breathing out slowly. As you bring the heels down, the arms come down, the breath comes out smoothly and slowly. Keep breathing out, 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 out. Let's try that again, breathing in. Strong inhale, so it's a strong, we get to feel these opposing forces, a strong intention, effort. And then we breathe and soften. So we get our flow, our dreamy, our kind of floaty feeling. And we'll try that again, breathing in. The strong, the intense, the effort, the hold. And then we breathe out and soften everything. Letting go everything, bringing the heels back down to the ground. We'll do one more of these. Breathe out everything, empty, breathing in. Extend, push the heels off the ground. Squeeze the legs together, hold, and then breathing out, softening. Just feel everything is softening, even the hands are soft and floppy, the arms are soft, and the heels reach the ground. Good. So we take the feet a bit wider apart, knees are nice and bendy. Let's have a little bit of a bounce there. The knees are just easy and let the arms be nice and floppy. So get the arms used to being floppy and then we're gonna take this into a twist. Bend the knees a lot, really take that low, but keep the spine upright, keep the head on top of the body, breathe in, look right behind you. Feel the space around you, breathe. Let the arms swing heavily around. Don't forget to bend into those knees. Maybe lifting the heel off the ground, coming onto the toe. Let's just take this a little bit longer just to loosen everything up. Yeah, I feel that lovely flowing feeling. Arms are nice and heavy. Good. I'm gonna take the back of the hands to the lower back. That little bit of a pump and a thump. Waking up and easing out the tension. And I think we're holding on to down there. And then we're gonna rub the lower back as well. Let's give those knuckles, get the knuckles into that lower back. Maybe there's some stuff we're holding on to in our lower back. Or maybe we're not feeling the support that we really need. Okay. And shake the hands out. We'll rub the hands together and shake the hands out. Okay, just shaking off that energy and bring the hands in front and behind. Let's just clap the hands. Let's just free up and 
freshen up the space around us. Brand new space, brand new moment. Each clap, brand new moment, moment, moment. Yeah, each moment a new opportunity to act. And let's just empty out the space with the ha. Breathing in, fresh new energy. Out with everything. Again, breathing in, fresh new energy. So bring to mind anything that you are struggling with, anything that's kind of sticky and, and holding and you can't really shake off. It's kind of maybe troubling you or agitating you. Just empty it out. Make space for the love to be there. And make some space for the harmony, the connection, the compassion, the unity, all the stuff that we know we have in bags. Let's do one more of those, just sweep out anything, bring it to mind. Really with your intention. Yeah. Let's just uh, take the feet apart and just let the arms just swing back and forth. Oh, let the heart be open, but without any effort, we're just letting that. Oh, yeah. And come standing. We're going to get this open up even more with these shoulder circles energizing the upper body so left foot forward left hand on left hip let's swing that right arm back and forth making sure you've got space to get the arm right around before we go into those faster circles get some momentum going we'll go backwards first of all holding on to the fingers lightly let's just swing that arm around breathing everything else in the body is stable very soft there's no tension in the rest of the body and we're just using that momentum. And we go forwards now with that arm. How's that feeling already? Breathe, breathe. To keep the flow and the softness. And forwards with that arm. Oh, yeah. Whenever I do these, I always think, wow. Yeah, give that shoulder a little rub. How's that feel? It just feels like, yeah, it feels energy in there. Hold on. Right foot forward now. Right hand on right hip. Nice bent knees. Holding onto the fingers lightly. Let's get that arm going. And you can even bounce, bounce, <laughs> bounce, bouncing and bending is bouncing <laughs> the knees. And we're going to go backwards first of all. So nice big circles. So we're just really opening up our wings. Yeah, winding them up, giving them energy and heat and attention. And we'll take them the other way now. Okay, forward now with the arm, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Enjoy the circles you're making. Yeah. Okay, and again, let's just let the arms swing, softening and loosening. See how heavy my arms are, like two pieces of floppy spaghetti. Just let that happen. Let me just uh, kind of slight bend forwards with the chest, letting it be nice and heavy. Good. Okay, a bit more warmer now. We'll get some leg energy going again. So we're just going to stand on the left foot and rotate the right ankle. Find that flow, movement, and the other way. So starting to wake up, you can start to feel that a bit in the shin as well. I'm just gonna swing the lower part of the leg, forwards and back, getting that warmed up and woken up. And then you can continue by letting the whole leg swing through. So stand tall through the left side. Also, if you have a block, you can always stand on that block to really give yourself lots of space on the right side. And if you want, ooh, take it in front and behind. If you keep your eyes on a fixed point, which I'm not doing, <laughs> then it makes the balance a lot easier. Keeping that upper body nice and open and upright makes everything feel a lot more balanced as well. Bringing that foot in front and behind if you want to, or just keeping that swing going. And slowly put the weight on the right foot. And we're going to start moving that left ankle. So I want to rotate as if you're drawing a circle with a big toe, breathing and just paying attention to that foot. And just noticing all the little clicks. <laughs> Maybe there's some clicks and pops. You're noticing that and noticing how as you move, but oiling the joints, letting that knee just swing through. The lower part of the leg is just nice and heavy. To make a bit of effort with the upper part of the leg, that's kind of activated. Keeping the abdominals strong, so the upper body is upright. And letting the whole leg swing through now. Standing tall through the right side or standing on a block or book if that's helpful. So we're just giving the weight of this left leg 
the left hip is getting some attention, psoas muscle, very important part of the body. And that gets tense, it gets tense in reaction to conflict and difficult situations. And we need to reactively, actively um, relax it in front and behind. Because often tension it just gets hold, held and, uh, you know, we don't sort of uh, spring back as easily. We tense up and then we kind of, it takes a long time for that to dissipate. So uh, dis decompression, you know, which is what yoga is. It's like decompression chamber. <laughs> so let's just take the feet even wider. We're going to do some hip circles just to kind of, just to loosen that all up. Keep the knees nice and soft. So it gives you more space to move those hips around. So it was as if you were drawing a circle with your tail, you know, on the ground. We're going to see if we can draw a big, big circle, keeping the body upright and the shoulders down away from the ears. So we're just getting that movement happening, feeling your flow, breathing in and out to the nostrils. When you keep the knees bent, it just kind of makes it, gives you more space. We keep, otherwise you've got quite a small circle here, so you've got a lot more movement. And we go the other way, a lot more movement with the knees bent, and you're just also using the ankles and the knees a bit more fluidly. And we have to have a bit more control here in the abdominals and the lower back, kind of moving much more fluidly and whole, whole bodily, <laughs> if you like. Give everything a little shake up. Breathe. Okay, so we're going to come to the back of our mat. We're going to come into a warrior one. Good day for a warrior, something strong. Put the weight onto the left foot. Let me step forward with the right. Big step. Get uh, the, the width of the feet that's comfortable for you. And then get the hip position, most important, center of the body. So right hip back, left hip forward. Pushing back into that left heel. We're going to um, bring the hands up over the head, breathing in. Put some space between the hands like a football, keep the shoulders down, keep the chest lifted and elevated. And as you breathe out, you're gonna bend into that right knee. Knee's gonna hover over the right ankle and you're at the same time pushing back into that left heel. So a strong dynamic there. So don't forget, at the same time, the right hip's going back, left hip going forward. Both the feet are open. We're not uh, gripping with the toes. So that back foot, particularly the back um, uh, calf is getting quite a, a lot of work going on there. Extending those fingers to the ceiling, you know, reaching up, keep the fingers together. Lift the chest, breathe into the chest. Breathe deeply. Good. Come up on the inhale, lower the arms on the exhale. I'm gonna come into a forward bend here. <clears throat> so either hands on the lower back or extend it up, whatever you prefer, breathe in. Breathing out, coming down over that leg. Have a slight bend in the knee as you come down. Make contact with the ground, whether it's fingertips or whole hand, and have the knee bent as much as you need to. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, lengthen. Lengthen that right leg. So we're pushing the big toe into the ground, and the right sitting bone is reaching up behind you. These two points moving away from each other, lengthening between that space, and letting the body just lower down towards the leg. Do even have a slight, almost pushing back with the hands here. Breathe. Breathe deeply. Feel that breath is in that leg, lengthening. Come out softly. So bend the right knee and walk the hands up the legs. A nice, soft, easy way to come out. And I bend into that right knee a lot so you can spring back to the back of the mat. Not so easy springing back as springing forwards because we're kind of stepping back into the unknown. So weight on the right foot, big step forward with the left, let that foot land, shuffle it forward if you need to, right hip forward, left hip back, pushing into that back heel. So it's strong on that right leg. Tummy tucked in, tailbone pointed down. So everything is very active. This time we're gonna bring the arms up just to shoulder height out at the sides here. So you can see it's almost like a kind of Aeroplane feeling. Lifting the chest and as you breathe out, bending into that left knee. So we have this kind of nice evenness feeling here. So you should feel that the arms are extending away to the sides 
and the um, feet are extending forwards and backwards. So we're extending in every direction, forwards, backwards, and to the sides, north, south, east, and west. Yeah, expansion. Keeping the head on top of the body, keeping the chest lifted, the shoulders down. Are you thinking about your posture? Strength in your abdom abdominals is supporting the back. Feel that evenness of this, very square feeling, even, steady, strong, stable. Breathe evenly. Support that. Use your inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down softly. Now extend the arms up or place them on the lower back. Inhaling, exhaling, coming down over that leg, soften the knee. Hands reach the ground either side of the foot on fingertips or flatten the hands. Breathe in, come away a little bit onto fingertips. Inhale fully so you've got a long breath out. Let the left leg lengthen. Breathe. Really extend your out breath. So empty, empty, empty. Squeeze that last bit of breath out and allow the next inhale to come in slowly. And feel that expansion in your body. Good. One more breath in and out. Empty, empty. Bend into the left knee. Walk the hands up the leg nice and easy. Bend into that left knee a lot and spring back to the back of the mat. Give the legs a little shake, keeping the feet on the ground. Let the upper body have a little shake as well and make some sound. Ah. Ah. Yeah, we'll just kind of get this chest a bit more open. So we're going to just uh, give some little finger taps. Stiff fingers here on the chest area. Oh yeah, heart centre. And around the sides on the ribs, if you can feel that there. And breathe. Oh, yeah, we need this. Oh, uh, good, okay. Shake out the hands. So coming to the front of the mat now. Triangle, place the feet, hips width apart, parallel. Lift the heels off the mat high and lower them down. Lift the toes off the mat high and lower them down. Weight on the left foot, step back with the right. And your feet, even weight, feel that pressing the feet into the ground. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide. Like a big smile across your heart. Breathing out, reaching over to your left and down. Connect with that lower leg and then open the chest. Look up at the ceiling, look up the hands. Good. Just receiving, giving that lovely openness. You know, even if your hand is behind your, your back, which you can have that option, you know, just placing it on the back of the hip there. It's quite a nice feeling, support there for yourself. If you're feeling like, you know what, I can't, I'm not feeling like this extension um, with the right arm there. But the great thing is that receptivity, feeling the light, you know, the light. We are having less light this time of year. So really allow your chest to open and receive that light. Breathe it in. So we're going to come up now out of this, breathing in. And breathing out, lower the arms down, soft arms as they come down, bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. So it's softness and strength combined. Weight onto the right foot, step back with the left. Strong legs, lifting the upper body up out of the hips, breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height, breathing in, open the chest, big open wide heart. Reaching over to the right now and down. Connect with the leg, reaching up away to the left fingertips. Again, opening the chest area, front of the shoulders, feeling the feet on the ground. There's no um, rigidity here. There's strength, there's structure, there's a frame here. There's stability, but there is no rigidity. We're keeping everything soft with the breath and with our attention thinking about this openness we're creating, this space we're creating in the chest, in the hip, on the back, the center of the, the back there, the back of the heart. 
Good. Really breathing into that area. Breathing in, coming up, lift the arms up, breathing out, lower the arms down. Bend into that left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Okay, take a moment there. Okay. So a little interlude with a bit of balance and a bit of breath. And also just feeling these opposing forces which can feel conflicting. So breathing in, you're gonna lift the arms up, lift the heels off the ground, bring the hands together above the head, turn the hands and bring the arms down, bring the heels down slowly. And we feel this, you know, these opposing forces, you can feel or experience them, breathing in the inhale, the reaching, the effort, the work and the softening and the dreaming and the flow as we come down. So we just feel that dark and the light. Maybe it feels like there's a lot of dark at the moment or maybe it feels like there's a lot of trying and effort and striving. So we are the little human in the middle of these things. And we're just drawing a circle around that with our fingertips and with our breath. And we're just holding all of this harmoniously. And remembering that, you know, in, in all of these conflicts and opposing forces, you know, when we're squeezed sometimes, you know, there's some real beauty that can come out of that in ourselves. It's how we, we respond to this. We can respond with stability and strength and compassion or at least have that in our minds at least make that effort and you know that's real growth so one more breath in lifting the heels high extending up and breathing out bringing the heels down and bringing the arms softly down softly down good and following that a nice posture to follow that idea of harmony and peace peaceful warrior so there's strength and there's softness weight on the left foot standing at the front of the mat and we're going to take a big step back with the right big step Bye. let that land maybe you make it a bit wider if you feel like you've got a bit more space get the hips level breathe in lift the arms up breathing out bring the arms down to shoulder height breathing in expand that chest and breathing out bending into that left knee and watching down the left arm now we breathe in breathe out lower so they're keeping the arms level then that's that right arm lowers down the left arm naturally goes up to the ceiling and then we just turn the hand very simple beautiful flow as we move into the posture we keep everything moving slowly you can lean onto that back leg so make it stronger and look up at the ceiling on the inside of the arm. So really making that strong movement from the fingertips right into the hips almost. It's a lovely long line, lovely long curve. And keep that front knee bent, making sure it's not collapsing inwards, which often happens. So you have to use that left buttock strength, and the hip, to keep that in place. Breathe deeply. One more breath in and out. I use the inhale to come back to warrior sink down for another breath in warrior two come up on the inhale lower the arms down on the exhale bend into that right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat yeah give the legs a little shake there just to reset because it feels nice <laughs> put the weight onto the right foot and then take a big step back with the left big step square the hips Breathe in, lift the arms up, lift the chest. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in to the heart space. Breathing out, bending into that right knee and pushing back into that left heel. So open the hips there. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, reaching back with that left hand as far as you can. And then as the left hand goes down, the right arm goes up. Let that land on the leg, reaching up with the right hand to the ceiling, turn the palm and then reaching over the body. The palm is kind of facing the ground, if you like, right into the fingertips extend. And looking up at the ceiling on the inside of the arm, so the arm isn't flopping there. You get much more expansion there. And checking that front knee is bent and not flopping inwards, so flopping to the left. We keep it strong and stable to support us. 
Good. Good. On the next inhale, come back to warrior. And the exhale, sink down a little deeper. Even weight between the feet. Use the inhale to straighten up, lengthen up. And the exhale to soften the arms and breathe out. I'm going to stay here in um, <clears throat> a word leg. I'm going to turn around to face you. But just uh, point both feet forwards. And we're going to come into a wide leg forward bend. So take the hands behind you, interlink the fingers, breathe in. Lift the chest, take the, take the body forward, straight back. Coming forwards with the chest. Good. I want your forward, take the arms over with that. So we're opening the shoulders and breathing. Good, breathe. Breathing in and breathing out, just releasing. Any tension in the shoulders. And then just let the hands still interlinked, bring them to the center of the back. And we'll draw a circle clockwise in the middle of the back, right in the middle. Yeah, feels good. And then rotate the other direction. Now, as we're doing that, we slowly uncurl with the knees bent, nice soft movement. And come to standing. Okay, and let's just take another kind of softer version. So bend the knees, turn the chin to the chest and let the whole body hang forwards into a wide leg ragdoll. Let everything hang on the floor. Breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. Just release. You might be holding your elbows. You may be having your arms on the ground. Whatever feels good. Knees are soft, bent even. Upper body is just hanging there. Let's have a little wander around. With the knees bent, we'll have this nice, soft kind of wander, walk around to the right, just to give our uh, back a little bit of a stretch there. And breathe. So we're not pushing this, we're just having an explore. Walk the hands across the floor, over to the left side, keeping the knees slightly bent, and seeing how that feels to go, just to our edges, not really trying to do anything much, and then coming back to the middle. And just keep the hands in the middle and then come up onto the fingertips, look forwards once. Inhaling and then exhale down. And we just soften the knees again and let ourselves be hanging in a rag doll. And then we take our attention to the base of the spine, let the arms hang, let the head hang, uncurl to standing, just so we can enjoy our spine rebuilding itself and coming to standing. Good, okay. Let's just turn the heels in slightly. Then I come into releasing some of that energy, that fierceness with the goddess. It feels like we need to do lots of goddesses at the moment. So bending the knees in line with the toes, just checking that for the moment, keeping the hands pressed together. Also, this encourages the chest to lift towards the hands, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the elbows out to the side. So it's very strong, this frame, without being rigid. Strong. Strength um, and um, supple, suppleness, this combined, which we get from our yoga practice. It happens in our body and it happens in our mind. Having that stability, but also having that kind of gentle softness, that um, flexibility. Okay, so breathing in, stretch up, breathing out. <sighs> yeah. Wow, where'd that come from? Let's try that again. Breathing in and then out for the mouth. <sighs> Tongue out, make it strong. We'll do one more of these, really strong. Breathing in. <sighs> Good. And then just bring the feet together, nice, easy way, whatever way you want to. Give the legs a little shake. Okay. And then again, strong, fierce, fiery, and have some softness, softness and focus with our balance. So we're going to come into heron balance, put the weight onto the left foot. And we start with the fingers just together there. And then we breathe in, we lift the right knee and lift the arms up, the fingertips are reaching up, coming together. And then they come down and that right foot comes down at the same time, just so the toes touch the floor, the hands just reach the side of the body there. <clears throat> and the hands can just come together, breathing in, lifting up. It's like 
the wings of the heron, they come together and then they come down and the knee comes down. Slowly and softly. So there is some time with your breath and really feel that sense of this very strong, but very fluid and graceful bird. You can see these herons, huge birds. There's real grace. They're kind of standing with this very slow, steady poise. When they fly, they're kind of like you know, these big wings, very strong but soft. Okay, again, fingers touch, breathing in. Think about this. And feel that, feel the qualities of grace and poise in your body and just the ease of your breath. And if it doesn't feel like that, and encourage that quality. It will be there somewhere. And we start with the breath. We find that in the breath, first of all. So we find that length and fluidity. In the inhale and the exhale. Find that steadiness and that balance feeling. We'll do one more each side. Fingers touch at the bottom and at the top, reaching that knee up, reaching the fingertips up. Slowly down with the hands. Breath is coming in and out through the nostrils. Slowly land that foot, slowly lift the other. Nice and high. And slowly lower this down, this last one. Good. And land both feet on the ground to see how that feels. Have a little bit of a walk on the spot, just feeling. How do your feet feel? How's the energy in the feet? How's that sense of balance in your body? And we're going to bring that into some movement with the sun salutes, half sun salutes rather. Bring the hands to the heart centre, lift the chest towards the hands. Feel that tailbone pointing down, strong belly, soft knees, lifting those kneecaps, strong thighs. Yeah, head on top of the body. Feel a sense of balance, evenness, breath. Breathe in. Breathing out, fingers point down. Breathing in, arms reach up, look up. Palms meet, meet above the head and then palms come down to the ground. Knees bend, chest is leading, fingertips touch the ground. Breathing in, look forwards. Breathing out, forward bend. Looking at the ground, bend the knees a lot. Breathing in all the way up. Scoop up and breathing out. This has uh, definitely got some bird energy in here as well. Breathing in and breathing out, swooping down like a swallow, and then breathing in, and breathing out, forward bend, bend the knees a lot, breathing in, powering up, reaching up those wings and then floating them down, breathing in all the way up, breathing out, knees are bending, fingertips touch the ground, breathing in, look forwards, and breathing out, forward bend, bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up, and breathing out. Breathing in all the way up. Taking the face forward, the chin, the chest, the fingertips. And then we straighten the legs up. We straighten the arms up, straighten the back up. Open the chest, shoulders back. Breathing out forward, bend with the straight legs. Bend the knees a lot now. So there's are two opposing differences. Very strong straight legs and bent legs. To give ourselves somewhere to work from when we come down into that. So. Soft knees, fingertips touch the ground, strong legs as we uh, come into this lifted body here. And then we keep the strong legs as we come into a stronger forward bend. And we bend these a lot so we have that power to push up from the ground. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's do one more of these. Breathing in, swoop up, breathing out, swooping down, diving down, breathing in. This is really about opening the heart here and then breathing out. This is really about lengthening and strengthening the backs of the legs. And this is really about this last one, inhaling. It's that powerful inhale, that lift, that lengthen, and then the softness of the exhale. And bring the hands to the heart center. Let's take a moment there. Take a breath or two. Just let the feet, just checking your feet. 
Our hips with apart and parallel with the toes strongly, lift them really high and place them down. Really good to get that flexibility and attention in the feet, lifting the heels really high and bringing them down. And feeling the ground with the feet as you're just standing here. Everything else is kind of still, the feet are just having a little bit of a play there, the toes just feeling the ground. And breathe. Let's just do our a little heart prayer for a moment here, breathing in. Breathing into that heart center and breathing out. Let's close your eyes for a second, keeping that integrity of everything being active and strong, but also keeping that quality of softness. So we just do a little heart prayer without any movement. We're just going to feel the movement of the breath, closing the eyes. And feel how the heart feels, feel how the breath is massaging that whole space. And just combing out all those kind of jagged lines that might be created by negative thoughts, by kind of coming up against other people's stuff. So we're just kind of entering into kind of difficult force fields of difficult things in the universe. People's upset and yeah, disharmony. And just keeping this openness and holding ourselves. Breathing in and releasing, letting go of that for a moment. And we're just going to Again, another opposing softness, openness with some strength. So we're going to come into a chair posture. That's a strong one. Breathing in, extend the arms up. So it's a strong, long shape. And then breathing out, sitting back into the heel, making this a strong chair. This is lovely. If, I mean, you know, we're kind of making a straight line. So we're creating straight lines out of the body, which is not straight lines. Back of the neck is, uh, is long. We're feeling these thighs and the power of the legs and the length in the waist there, strong belly, strong back, strong legs. Use the inhale to come up, exhale, feel the softness and the release and the relief. Breathing in, breathing out. So we're gonna come down to seated now in a squat, so breathing in. Arms come forward, breathing out, slow squat down. Keep the arms going forwards, reaching forward so you can really sit back deeply. Slowly as you can, keep breathing them out. Catch yourself. Stretch the legs out in front. Yeah, bounce the knees up and down. Let's get the legs a bit more relaxed. And then we're going to take the feet very wide. As wide as you can without putting any force or strain on the inner thighs. And if it feels like too much, if you feel like you're really kind of your back is very uh, hunched forward, then just sit on a cushion or a block to make sure you can sit up nice and tall. Good. So let's just take the hands to the knees, lift the shoulders up, breathe in, and then out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, so that'll release a little bit. Yeah, okay. Let's stir something up now here. So really think about the integrity of your spine. So lift the chest, make the front of the body nice and long. Shoulders go back as if we're taking them to the wall behind us. And we're gonna stir up some porridge. So breathing in, breathing out, leaning forwards. Breathing in, we're going around to the right, back to the left and forwards, breathing out. And if you feel like you wanna really get hold of that <laughs> porridge spoon, then you can make this a bit more extended and with less support. So breathing out, leaning forwards, breathing in, leaning back. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. So we, if, we, if we're doing this with the hands forward, the arms are extended forwards, the elbows are extended forwards. So seeing if you can really expand this movement and see if you can really sit back. So having the strong legs, having the toes towards the ceiling will really help to support that as well. You can feel that in your legs as you go around. Try and keep the body upright. We're not bending, we're keeping the body upright. So we're taking that, the chest is leading and the strong belly here as you come around. You can keep the hands on the knees as well if you prefer but we're still keeping that strong integrity in the spine. Come back to center. 
Breathing in, and this time we're gonna, let's add in Spramari because it just feels so good. Breathing in and breathing out the hum. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're using an electric mixer on the porridge. <laughs> mm -hmm. And coming back to center. And then we're just going to bend the knees and let the let ourselves come into this little egg, letting the face fall to the knees and just hugging the knees. Letting the face fall to the knees, breathe into the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out for the mouth, relax the back of the neck for a moment. And we're just going to play with the, the hips a little bit. Nice way to just play around with the hips. So we're going to, you can either have this left leg like outstretched or bent, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And we're gonna get hold of this leg. So holding that right foot with the left hand and we can support the knee there with the right hand. And we're just going to, you know, have a little bit of a play here. You can think about one thing you could do is draw a circle with that right foot, just guiding it with the hand. But what we're really doing here is we're dealing with the hip, which, but we're just moving in very soft, gentle way circles and you also might want to just rock that back and forth just to find that movement what movement do you have in that hip so it could be very small it's wherever you're at good and then taking the other direction and just you know really being curious and interested in what movement you have you can extend the leg do whatever feels good to you okay if you want to then you can um do this uh, rocking the baby. And to do that, we just place that foot on the crook, on the inside of the elbow there, hold the leg, and the other arm holds, the crook of the elbow holds the knee. So we're kind of imagining <laughs> our lower leg is like a little baby and we're rocking it there. I mean, you can do that without, that. that's a stronger movement. You can do that holding on. Depends how open you are in the hip. And like I said, this leg might be more comfortable outstretched. I find it more comfortable bent there. We're not worrying about that one too much, but we're just rocking the baby either which way, back and forth, finding that movement, then placing that foot down and then changing legs. So again, with that right leg outstretched or on the ground, we just start to explore taking that left foot in the right hand and holding the left knee with that left hand. We're just gonna explore this movement. Sometimes in the colder weather, you know, the hips can get a little bit cranky and even if they're not, you know, it's an area which we can hold tension in. We hold tension in our, all our joints, but some more than others. Hips are definitely, um, particularly a lot of emotional things can get stuck and caught up tension in the hips. So we just, like I said, you can make circles with the toe. That's a kind of a nice movement for the joints. You know, circular spiraling movements are really good. sometimes non-weight bearing as well, just so that joint gets some freedom and we're not pushing it. Sometimes you push, when you push the body, it will resist against you often. Particularly if it's not used to it and you're kind of shocking it, hasn't done something for a while, and then you're often gonna get injuries. So we just, you know, treat the body with care, with reverence, with attention, with curiosity. And then you might want to do this rocking the baby, placing the foot on the crook of the, of the elbow and then the, the knee on the crook of the other elbow, you can hold on to that, or it could be further apart, whichever you feel is gonna work for you best. And we're gonna rock that baby. <laughs> just a nice feeling, a little bit of, also that rocking feeling, just comforting as well, holding yourself. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This will be working into the lower back as well, because everything connects, you know, you think we're working on one part of the body, we're working on the whole body really always. We should always be trying to think about working on the mind anyway. Put the left knee down, right knee down. And again, we come into this little egg. And rest. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. So let's see how the hips are now. We take the knees out to the side. We connect the soles of the feet together quite close to the body. You can hold on to the ankles or the toes. But we're trying to sit up tall. Don't worry too much about the um, where the knees are at the moment. Think about sitting tall. So we're taking the shoulders back, lifting the chest, back of the neck long. 
really feeling about lengthening in the waist, the front of the belly there, and then start to think about the knees coming down. Breathe deeply. Good. Oh. Now notice, you know, if you're, used to, if you're familiar with this posture, notice how it feels after having spent a bit of time encouraging those hips to open up in a very gentle and mindful way. And we're just releasing that. And we're gonna come into a forward bend now. So holding on again to the feet, place the thumbs in the center of the foot. Give yourself a little massage there, cause why not? Take a look there, just pressing and again, drawing circles with the thumbs just to ease out that tension. Yeah, <laughs> could you stay here <laughs> for the rest now? And we're gonna just open up the feet as we lean forward. So now we're gonna kind of just round the back. So as if the head wants to come into this book, into the feet, opening up the feet, the elbows press into the inner thighs. The knees are still coming down to the sides. And we're just bringing the head down, kind of curling ourselves up very small, almost like a little, like a little shell, you know, like a little, like a little oyster shell. And breathe. Take your time. Slowly unravel, come up slowly, 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 slowly. And again, lift the knees up and hug the knees and just relax the back. Relax and soften the back, the shoulders. And a few releasing breaths in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Release. It's a little cosmic egg now, so taking the hands around the front of the shins. Straightening the back up, take the shoulders back, nice long neck and just sit back into that balance. So the toes might be just touching the ground or you might just have them just off the floor. So it's quite, again, it's quite a strong frame, but there's breath and there's movement. And try to avoid going into a sort of a shaking, tense place. If you find that's happening, just relax again, release, breathe and so, um, come into that again. And then release, okay. So we're going to come into a boat now. So you might want to start with the hands behind the knees. We're going to come into this slowly. We'll try two different um, ideas. So first of all, we're going to come just with the, the lower part of the leg parallel to the ground, but really focusing on opening the chest and strengthening the abdominals and the nice straight back, straight neck. Neck is in line with your spine rather than hunched forwards. So if your chest is open, your shoulders are back, then the neck will be long as well and release. So we've got the feeling of that. Release and soften. Okay, now we're going to come in again. Start the same way. Lift. First of all, before you even take the um, feet off the floor, really think about that spine being long. Lift the chest, shoulders back, and then come into that position. And then either go the hands free, or you can come into full boat supported, or come into the full boat. So you can choose which you prefer. This is very strong on the abdominals. If you find you're getting into shaking, then then go back a stage, you know, or support yourself a little bit. We don't want to be causing tension. Breathe, your breath will really transform this. And then release. That's quite a strong one. And relax. Good. So let's come out of this. We're going to just come onto our knees into an extended dog, just so we can get a nice stretch on the back. So this requires us to almost be in a swan, but the bottom doesn't quite reach the heels. So the hands are a bit further forward than swan. See? And just dropping the head down. Good. Yeah, this one's great for creating some heart space as well, but in a very easeful way, very kind of, you feel like very protected way here with the forehead, maybe even touching the ground there. So no pushing or forcing, just breath. And then just let yourself sit back into your heels. So just softening that all up and bring the forward to the ground, sweep the hands back into the pose of the child. Just really soften that whole thing up. Relax the jaw and the mouth, the lips, the tongue. Relax the shoulders forwards. Just really soften. 
The middle of the forehead is on the ground, on the earth, connecting your brain with the earth, your mind with your body. These are harmonizing the two. So we're just gonna do a little bit of moving here, moving into our softening now. Stretch the arms forwards. We're gonna move and breathe with this. Breathing in, come up to all fours. Breathing out, taking the hips forwards. Open up, yeah. It's gonna feel good after doing those um, boats. Easing out the abdominals, breathing in. Don't forget as you're coming into this up dog or cobra-like position, we keep the shoulders down away from the ears and we, the chest is very proud. Breathing in and breathing out, but really focus mostly on your breath, breathing in. Fingers spread wide, soft elbows, breathing out. Just do a couple more of these, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Some last one, so breathe out fully. See if you can get a full opening of the heart there, breathing in, breathing out. And just rest down there, breathe in through the nostrils. And just out through the mouth, just let it go. Good. Let's walk the hands up, come to kneeling. I'm just going to slow it all down now a little bit. So you can either stay kneeling if that's comfortable for you or come onto cross-legged if you prefer to sit like that. And we're just going to chant the mantra OM three times just to raise our vibration and to just feel that vibration throughout the body. So hands rest on the lap. I like to connect the thumbs there. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Ah, just to get that release. And now we're just going to chant the mantra OM three times, breathing in through the nostrils. Ah. Ah. you want to whatever easy way you find to lying on your back let everything go you feel like you want to just kind of hug your knees a little bit and ease out your back and please feel free to do that stretch your legs and arms just move and feel how your body wants to relax a little bit there until you come to a stillness just finding some stillness there Breathe in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. So we're just going to focus a little bit on your abdominals. So we'll do a little breathing practice. Lying the body flat on the ground and you have your eyes closed so placing the hands on the belly there as you're lying on the ground abdominal breathing and this is a great practice very simple bringing your attention to your breath and it helps to lengthen and deepen your breath and it helps to relax you because that's what happens when we lengthen the breath and deepen the breath and empty the breath out so with your hands on the belly, you'll be able to feel the breath coming in. And we're trying to really expand that belly as you breathe in. So taking your breath right down to the base of the belly. And as you breathe out, it's slowly emptying out, but it's emptying out, first of all, from here. So you feel that 
you feel the belly softening and you feel the hands are coming closer in as you release the breath. And you're keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils. So breathing in and as you breathe out slowly, it's a slow release rather than kind of a whoosh out. We're trying to steadily and slowly release the breath out. And you can feel that slowly contracting. You feel the belly button go backwards and emptying, emptying, emptying. And we breathe in again from the same place. We're really focusing on the belly area. Really expanding, you'll feel the fingers come apart from each other and as you breathe out, you'll feel them come together as you empty, empty, empty. And as you're doing this, really think about or notice if the breath is getting longer and if you want to be really sure, then you can always add a count in there as well. And if your mind is very flighty and tends to find focusing on um, breath practices a uh, challenge, then counting is another layer which will help to to keep your focus of your mind. Give your mind lots of things to do, but you're choosing it, what you want it to do, rather than letting it have lots of things to do without your um, choice, without your kind of uh, chosen focus of attention. You choose where you'll place your attention. So you might want to count and see how many counts is the breath in. As you breathe out, what is the count out? And if you can, try and make the out breath a little bit longer, just slightly longer. Maybe it's just one count longer. It's a good focus of attention. It's kind of a soft achievement, if you like. Breath coming in and breath going out. Just noticing the movement. Enjoying that lengthening and slowing and softening that's happening. Quite a lot of activity in today's practice, so we're taking a bit more time just to soften and slow down. And now just let go of everything, let go of any technique, but knowing that that is a very reliable technique, abdominal breathing, <clears throat> for relaxing, for relaxation, and if you're finding yourself very stressed, then either lying down or sitting <clears throat> and coming into that practice can um, really shift things and change things for you. And also if you're finding it difficult to sleep, doing a bit of abdominal breathing will at least make you feel more relaxed. Yeah, so just soften your breath now. No techniques now, just let it all go. Breath coming in and out through the nostrils. And just watching your belly rise and fall, but it's just softening now and becoming quieter and smaller. Soft, easy breath coming in and out through the nostrils. Breath coming in, breath going out. Feel your body is supported, feel the back on the ground. And encourage your body to relax and soften whole body is softening and relaxing. And just for this one little minute, just let yourself, give yourself fully to relaxing. With every out breath, the body is becoming softer, quieter, and more relaxed. short but sweet. So just take a moment to bring yourself back to the day. So start to move your body, feel this body moving, feel your limbs, feel your joints, just start to stretch and move, hug your knees, do whatever feels good to you. <clears throat> Breathe a little deeper to wake the body up and move slowly towards Sitting, take your time though, 
there's no hurry at all. Moving towards sitting, rolling onto your side, doing whatever feels good to you. Breathe, roll your shoulders, do whatever feels good, stretch, breathe. Yeah, yeah, looking around, coming back to the day. And then let's rub the palms together. Heat and energy, focus that between the palms and the hands. And place that heat and energy over your heart center. Close your eyes, take your focus into this space again. Very heart focused practice today. So we close with that. And we bring our Sankalpa, our intention into this space. And we surround it and hold it with compassion and love. So say your words to yourself a few times with meaning and compassion. Good. Namaste. <clears throat> Thank you so much for your practice. I'm Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I wish you all peace and harmony.